so it's wednesday june 22nd and it's probably like three o'clock in the afternoon now i'm here at the va hospital the cafeteria i haven't had anything to eat today because i was having my uh, class in the morning um, my virtual class at home from 9 to 12 supposedly but then Marshall cut me off at 11 saying that he was having a he was he was experiencing a uh, chest pain from his um, bypass surgery last September 2021 and it is something that we're always you know um, in look out for for anything that you know would come up because um, he is still in uh, recovery so I had to cut my class short and uh, drive down here at the VA hospital now we have been here like what three hours already he they had done um, different kind of tests like full blood work some x-rays some EKG and uh, things like that and now they're just waiting for the result and um, um, for him to uh, you know um, talk with the doctor I'm hoping that the result is normal and that it is just a uh, a simple nerve spasm or something he looks okay though but the the thing that um, keeps us worried it is about the pain is constant um, he has been feeling that for I don't know he said it was since his surgery but it just ignores it but now he's saying that it's about time to you know have someone look at it so I'm hoping that everything is gonna be okay and since I haven't had anything to it, my brain was starting to um, black out. I was having some nausea because I'm so dehydrated and hungry. I did not bring our water. It's in the car. And I, I don't feel like walking in the parking lot to get the water. And so I um, just decided to get something to eat here at the cafeteria and uh, I am having some Starbucks uh, Frappuccino, a mocha Frappuccino and uh, a healthier option of a kale salad. This is actually pretty good. Um, it is simple, the ingredients are simple. It's just kale, cabbage, carrots, dried cranberries. Um, garbanzo beans but the apple cider vinaigrette as the dressing i think that is the winner it is so tasty i think i can make this at home something new to me especially in this hot weather it's summer you need something cool in your palate something to cool you off so um uh, yeah um i'm guessing that we will be spending probably another couple of hours before we can get the results and it's not too bad I have nothing to do today um, yeah nothing important to do today but we still have lots of projects that we need to do at home it's just never-ending projects maintenance home improvements it's just a lot so yeah um i got marshall it uh, it tall one of this this one is a grande it's good i don't buy starbucks often i think the last time i had this was god what before pandemic yeah that was before pandemic i just refuse to buy this because it's so expensive but I am just so hungry and there's no other restaurants around here because this is a hospital um, compound and they only have cafeteria and unlimited food choices. I am not, I don't regret getting this salad because it is so tasty. Oh, just so good. And um, 
it's so cooling. Anything, anything, any dish that has vinegar in it tastes so good, right? Um, just look at what we have in the Philippines. Every food tastes good with vinegar. It's like adobo. Adobo is so simple. And what makes it tasty is the soy sauce and the vinegar. And that's it. But here they don't cook with vinegar. They don't cook with it. But they use apple cider vinegar as dressing. Yeah. To us, vinegar is a dressing. We call it samsawan. Right? We call it samsawan. And it's so good. I will search on the internet on how to make an apple cider vinaigrette. I think it is simple. And I'm going to make this at home. So good. Hmm. That, mm. Marshall is sitting outside. It's not bad if you're in the shade, but if you're in the heat, out in the sun in there, oh, we're gonna burn. And I forgot to bring my sunscreen. I have learned that I have been watching YouTube and some research about sun damage to your skin, especially when you're getting older. I have never thought about, you know, um, taking care of my skin when I was young but now that I am older I'm almost near my 50s it's like okay it's about time to take care of your of yourself and um, do a little bit of something here and there just to make you look you know um, a little you know younger than your age but I don't think that age no you can't stop aging it's just a normal um, process I mean yeah it's a normal thing um, in life and you can see that the skin on my neck is already getting loose yep I'm getting there and I am not sure if I'm ready <laughs> to you know to have some wrinkles and saggy skin oh I'm not sure about that but right now what I'm doing with my face is uh, since February last week in February I've been uh, using um, sunscreen every day even if I'm just staying inside the house even if I don't go out I put sunscreen in my face I also use sunscreen on my neck and arms I use this spray um, even if I don't go anywhere and then in the evening I use a retinol serum and in the morning I use a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid so that helps with you know um, keeping my skin um, brighter at least and uh, um, keeping it from looking dull so I think that helps because some of the, uh, the the sun damages on my cheeks, some of it have already been eliminated. I still have some here and here, but, but the rest of it, they're all gone. So I think I am happy. I made a good decision, but I, I, I have, um, adapted to the, uh, motto of some skin experts that sunscreen or SPF is your new BFF so um, I believe in that I, I I just you know I just realized that recently and I am like yeah I think I should do that and so 
and they say that the best the best time to start using skin protection is at the age 15 so um, if you have kids out there you know boys or girls um, make it sure that they put their sunscreens on before they go out and play or go anywhere and sunscreens by the way are not just a one-time um, thing that you do all day all throughout the day you have to reapply it every two hours because um as it evaporates it just lose its um strength as you go along as you sweat and you know smudge your skin to anything so yeah you have to have sunscreen in your purse and um, reapply it every two hours it uh, a sunscreen is not to prevent from getting dark it is to prevent from getting cancer don't get me wrong okay it is not to keep you from getting dark if you stay out in the sun it is not sunscreens are not to keep you um, look white or make your skin look white or fair but it is to um, um, keep you from getting skin cancer okay it is not to help you whiten your skin just make sure you understand that all right so i'm gonna enjoy my salad and my frappuccino i will see you again next time i hope everything is going to be okay with marshall see ya bye shawnee and 1010 10. siobhan love you